What is up guys, my name is Ignas, welcome back to the channel. We are in the episode number 43 of the stock investing portfolio series. 60 more dollars was added, we bought some stock, received dividends and started a few new positions. An early thumbs up would be much appreciated and with that out of the way let's get into the moves. On Monday we started a new position and that was $20 into Vertex Pharmaceuticals. We got 0.103 of a share at $193.24. In the last 5 trading days Vertex Pharmaceuticals is down for 3.72%, in one month it is lower for 13.28%, and in exactly one year the stock is down for 35.93%. I have been looking to add one more position into my healthcare exposure and Vertex seems like an interesting biotechnology pick. If we take a look into revenues they had a steady growth for a few years in a row. It was 2.5 billion dollars in 2017, then over 3 billion in 2018, over 4 in 2019 and then over 6 billion in 2020. Out of 25 analyst recommendations we have 9 at a strong buy, 11 at a buy and 5 suggesting to hold. There are no recommendations on underperform or sell. So the average recommendation rating is at 1.8 between a buy and a strong buy. And if we take a look at the price targets, the lowest that analysts predict are $200 per share and the average is at $260. But currently the share price is at $187. This suggests that there could be some nice upside for the stock available and I'm interested to keep on adding at these levels. Another buy on Monday was $20 into Autodesk, where we got 0.072 of a share at $277.61. In the last 5 trading days Autodesk is lower for 0.11%, in one month it is down for 1.13%, and in exactly one year the stock is up for 15.4%. Looking into technicals, the share price is moving between the 50 and the 200 day moving averages, so if the price goes closer to the 200 day MA or under it, then I will be adding more funds into it. Then on Wednesday we received dividends from McDonald's, and that came in at $1.15 for our position. Another dividend payer on Monday was Consolidated Edison, where we got 38 cents for this position. A new buy on Monday was $20 into Barry Gold, where we received 868 of a share at $23.03. In the last 5 trading days Barrick is down for 9.31%, in one month the stock is lower for 16.36% and in one year the stock is down for 18.47%. The share price saw a sharp drop lower on Thursday, with the relative strength index under 30. And it was just a bit worse on Friday again. If the price stays here on Monday and continues going lower next week, then I will definitely be adding more into it. Then on Friday we added $20 into Take 2 Interactive, where we got 0.117 of a share at $170.07. In the last 5 trading days Take 2 Interactive is down for 8.16%, in one month it is lower for 7.46% and in exactly one year the stock is up for 21.35%. A month back the stock had a nice run, going from under $170 per share to over $180 in a few trading days. But this week that reversed and we are again at $170 per share. I already have quite a few picks that I want to look into next week, but Take 2 will also be one of those. So if the price stays here or continues going lower, then I'm adding more into this position too. The last buy on Friday was 20 more dollars into Barry Gold, where we got 0.949 of a share at $21.06. So these were all the moves for the week, now let's go into Google Sheets to take a deeper look. Since we added into Take 2 we now have 1.173 of a share, the average buying price is at $170.56 and the current market price is at $171.28. The cost basis is $200 and the current market value of the position is $200.84. This means that we are up for $0.84 and that is an increase of 0.42%. The position takes up 6.7%. 22% of the portfolio and that is 34.22% of the communication services sector. A new addition this week was Vertec Pharmaceuticals where we have 0.103 of a share, the buying price was at $193.24 and the current market price is at $187.85. The cost basis is $20 and the current market value is $19.44. This means that we are down for $0.56 cents, and that is minus 2.79%. Vertex may 
makes up 0.65% of the portfolio, and that is 10.09% of the exposure in the healthcare sector. Then we also added into Autodesk, and we now have 0.424 of a share. The average buying price is at $283.28, and the current market price is $277.98. The cost basis is $120, and the current market value is $117.75. This means that we are down for $2.25, and that is a loss of 1.87%. The position takes up 3.94% of the portfolio, and that is 11.59% of exposure in information technology sector. A new position and the first in material sector is Barry Gold, where we now have 1.818 of a share. The average buying price is exactly at $22, and the current market price is $20.75. The cost basis is $40, and the current market value for the position is $37.73. This means that we are down for $2.27, and that is a loss of 5.69%. The position takes up 1.26% of the portfolio, and being the only position from material sector, that is at 100%. This week we received dividends from McDonald's where we have 1.044 of a share. Our average buying price is at $210.66 and the current market price is $229.62. The cost basis for the position is $220 and the current market value is $239.80. This means that we are up for $19.80 and that is an increase of exactly 9%. The position takes up 8.02% of the portfolio and 44.12% of exposure in consumer discretionary sector. We also got dividends from Consolidated Edison where we have 0.582 of a share. The average buying price was at $68.72 and the current market price is $74.49. The cost basis is $40 and the current market value for the position is $43.36. This means we are up for $3.36 and that is an increase of 8.39%. The position takes up 1.45% of the portfolio and that is 51.54% of exposure in utility sector. Let's do a quick performance summary. So the portfolio is currently valued at $2,989.45 and we ourselves have deposited exactly $2,700. This means that we are currently up for $289.45, which is an increase of 10.72%. Now let's take a look how the portfolio is diversified by different positions. So we have 3.2% invested in Google, exactly 4% in AT&T, 6.7% in Take-Two Interactive, 5.7% in Baidu, exactly 8% in McDonald's, 10.2% in Alibaba, 6.7% in Walmart, 0.7% in Coca-Cola, 2% in Kimberly-Clark, 3.9 in MasterCard, 2.3 in Visa, 3% in Johnson & Johnson, 2.8 in Thermo Fisher Scientific, 0.7 in Vertex Pharmaceuticals, 0.8 in Lockheed Martin, 5.2 in Western Digital, 2.8 in Intel, 4.9 in Microsoft, 3.3 in Sony, 7.7 in Qualcomm, 6.1% in Canadian Solar, 3.9 in Autodesk, 1.3 in Barry Gold, 1.5 in Consolidated Edison, 1.4% in Sempra Energy, and there is 1.2% of the portfolio still available in cash. Now let's scroll just a bit lower to check how the portfolio is diversified by different sectors. So we have 19.6% of the portfolio invested in communication services, which is at our 20% target. Then we have 18.2% in consumer discretionary, way over our target of 10%. Then we have 9.4% in consumer staples, where the target is at 8%. 6.3% in financials, with the target being at 7 6.4% in healthcare, where we have a target of 12 Industrials is at 0.8%, way below of our 11% target. Then we have 34% in information technology, with the target being 23, 1.3 in materials, getting to the 3% target, then 2.8 in utilities, right there at the 3% target, and 1.2 in cash where the target is 0%. So the only sector we are still missing is energy, where we ourselves have set a 3% target. So that was it with the investing portfolio update. If you are interested in details, you can access the Google Sheets document whenever you like. There is a free access link for it in the description below. If you have any questions or comments regarding the portfolio and calculations, you can add those under the video. I 
will make sure to take time and answer any of those. If you are interested in a chat, you can direct message me on Facebook at Dandy Finance. And if you want to see some funny original memes, then follow Dandy Finance on Instagram. And that was it. If you got value or new ideas, then make sure to push that thumbs up. It helps the channel a lot. Now there is a question for you. Which stocks have you been buying or selling this week? Share your best or worst moves in a comment below. If you are interested to know exactly when I buy or sell in a stock, then consider the options on Patreon. This week we had a stock comparison on gold miners with Newmont Barrick and Franco Nevada and last week it was copper producers with BHP, Rio Tinto and Freeport McMoran. If you are interested in any of these then click on the video currently on the screen. And that was it from my side, thank you for watching and I will be seeing you all in the next one.